Yeah, it, it felt good, but we didn't play where we need to be playing. There's no way we can play like that against West Virginia. It worked against a D3 school, but we're not going to be able to play that way against any team for the rest of the season. You were in a bit of a shooting slump, though. Uh, yeah. What was uh, the difference yesterday? Just the rhythm, the mentality, the opponent? <laughs> uh, I guess a little bit of everything. I mean, I, I got a lot of open looks. They were uh, playing off me which I'll probably have somebody on me the next game. But uh, just battling an injury, kind of mental, and I'm thinking I'm breaking through that right now. What is this week like? I mean, because you got to juggle both basketball and finals. It's really hard. Uh, you know, coaches have been good about getting practice at a time that we can all make it. But, you know, I got to, right after this, I got to get home and study. He gave us a day off, so that helps. But it really is time management. It's difficult. and. Um, being a junior, I've gotten used to it, but I know some of the freshmen have to adjust to it. Any advice you can give them? Uh, oh, gosh. Just study on your own, I guess. I don't know. Go to class. Don't take accounting. Don't take accounting. <laughs> yeah. What do you know about your next opponent, West Virginia? Well, they are ranked, and they're a very quick team. They have... Uh, athletic post, you know we can't we can't have any um, mess ups this game. We you know we can't play the way we did um, yesterday against this ranked team. They're super aggressive, but I know that we can play to their ability. I I think it's very common for teams to play down to a level when you're p playing against somebody not as competitive. It's easy to just play, you know, just to get by. But we're not gonna be able to do that. But I know that our, my team will step it up for the West Virginia game. Having your coach mention um, the difficulties they created last year, having gone through that experience once, how much will that help this time around? You know, there's a big difference this year. Last year, that was our first game of the season. We didn't have any of their film to watch. You know, we didn't have that great of a game plan for them because it, it was the first game. And, you know, we've been able to watch them and see what they do. So we'll definitely have a great game plan um, this week, but it just depends on if we're going to execute it or not. Seven and two. Feels good. Wish it would be no losses, but. <laughs> I guess the question behind that, though, is when you, when you started the season, I know you don't pick which games you're going to win and lose, but if somebody had said maybe seven and two after your first nine games, you know, we prepared well for the season. I would have expected that. But, you know, it really does feel good. We, you know, we've been rebuilding this program and we're still rebuilding it. But this is a great start for us. But, you know, we did start out pretty decent last year. And once we got into league play, we slipped a little bit. So I'm hoping that we, you know, stay playing this strong the whole season. Like last year, you said you guys slipped a little bit in uh, uh, league play. How much of that is just, staying mentally ready and me mentally prepared for every game. Oh, it's, that's definitely a big part of it. You know, we're playing two games a week. It's pretty consistent schedule, you know, Thursday, Saturday games. And it's taking, you know, we have oh, a couple days, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to prepare for the Thursday game, and then it's a quick turnaround for the Saturday game. So I think the big part is staying focused for the Saturday game, just getting in the gym on Friday and getting the work done that we need to do for the next game. It's a really quick turnaround. Two of those now on the road where you've grown up with a split, and it's been, you know, so what have you taken out of that to help you prepare for that regular grind in the league? I know everybody's physically tired, which is, coach has been understanding, you know, he really just wants us there mentally at practice, paying attention to their plays, knowing where to go, and, you know, we just kind of push through it. Our bodies are tired, but we're, we're 21 year old girls, 18, 19, 20, 21, you know, we could push through it. So I think it's, you know, part physical, part mental.